Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to the Onyx Watch campaign of From the Depths. And the weather is miserable. The plan today is quite simple, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. And we're going to introduce a new craft this episode. I've, well, I haven't decided, decided, but I just think it would be a good idea if we introduce one new craft per episode. Which will be, I think it'll keep things fresh and interesting and nice and force me to build stuff because ye gods it's like pulling teeth getting me to actually build anything in this game these days because I'm scared that it'll fail and don't be afraid of failure punch failure in the face that's my motto which I've made up just now okay so what are we dealing with what we're dealing with is that we've got incoming from the north and the map's very dark we've got incoming from the north I need to up the brightness a bit We've got this nonsense coming in, and that nonsense coming in, and hello, these things have uh, been evacuated specifically to come and kill me, and I'll set the game speed down a little bit so I have time to say stuff. But first things first, uh, where is construction crew? Let's go over here. Whoa, this, the waves look weird on... Uh, low speed. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the cheesiest craft in the universe and that is the sawback. So, this is the closest thing to... Oh god, I can't afford one of these fully. Uh, oh well, we're gonna... We'll just start building it, I guess. So the sawback is the closest thing I have to a large missile bomber and an APS bomber. Comes in here. It is an orbiting thruster craft that lobs large missiles at things and has a smoke gun. It is pure cheese against the Onyx Watch because it flies in low orbit, is too fast for the for pretty much any of their craft to hit, and LAMS doesn't work so well against a smoke gun large missile combo, even if a LAMS node isn't smoked up and has trouble popping them. So, we are going to spawn one of these, and this is our trump card. And, uh, speaking of uh, stuff, so, we're going to repair you. You won't be repaired. Yes, you are. And speaking of, we're going to uh, go over here. So we're here on the rapier. We're gonna s okay, what are we going to do? Play him. And so I have listened to your suggestions regarding EMP bombs, and I have uh, tweaked some of what the. I have tweaked some of the warheads on uh, the Nazams, or Nazams, to be EMP, and that seems to work quite well. I've also added a single ammunition processor to them so they can uh, bomb things a little bit faster and they can keep going for a little bit longer. They will eat material, but they'll eat so little material it almost doesn't matter. So that's all fine. And so I am very quickly running out of money, but that thing's almost done. And we've got a long time before anything comes down. So we've got that guy. We need to we need to take that thing immediately. So the plan is we go north. We take the furnace, and we strike. Oh goodness, is there something? No, there was just a line on the map. So we strike north a bit. We take that. Well, we take that so we stop their economy a bit, and we go, actually we go. We'll go west first. West first is a good idea, and I just re remembered that uh, Air Force One is now going to be very slow because uh, I just I just upgraded these things. So we're going to play these out of play forces and we do that. Okay, so they're now going max speed, which is good, and now pull all. We're gonna head you down here, and hopefully, hopefully, stuff will happen. Oh, hello, the sawback's done. Great. Uh, actually, he's not quite done. Speed up a bit. He's almost done. Okay, you're reinforcing there. Okay, alrighty. So we're on the sawback now. Let us play you, and let's get you to the altitude you should be. 
So this is the Sawback. Pretty rudimentary thing, bit of a glass cannon. Uh, these jagged edges on the side are there purely to make the thing look slightly more interesting because it looks really boring without them. Got that smoke gun in the front and it's got this uh, missile launcher underneath which is a honking big EMP frag thing that really really hurts when it hits. It's very nice, very nice. Lots of EMP thrusters uh, arranged in an artfully pleasing manner. And by that I mean uh, probably aesthetically it is lacking but that's okay. And should also mention oh, lots of ammunition. This thing is mostly ammo. And thank goodness it flies so fast because otherwise it would pop like a firework. Because those two large missiles, if you don't want to use ammunition processes, that's pretty much how much ammunition you need. It is insane. And RTG powered, because I like RTG powered. It is a little bit expensive thanks to that, but... As ever, I don't want to build fuel craft yet. Uh, the RTGs will pay for themselves in the long run, or at least so I hope. And yes, I know fuel is uh, essentially free if you get a good enough refinery. But that's uh, beside the point. I should also mention the cram bomber that I made in recent days. I did a whole pair of videos on it. I'm not uh, spawning them in quite yet because they actually need the support of this thing in order to be really effective against the more dangerous Onyx Watch craft. I will admit that uh, my cram bomber making skills leave something to be desired. Not my best work, but we'll spawn them in just for fun because it is nice to see them blow stuff up. So, you, sir, need to get right up to your maximum altitude. And that'll happen a lot quicker. Okay, nah, you are at maximum altitude. Great. So now. You, sir, will go over here and you will back up my dudes. What else is coming to kill me? And the Sawback, as I mentioned, it can handle pretty much anything in the Onyx Watch. So, no, it's not what I'm going to do. Freaking. Why did I do that? Not the button I wanted to do. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to give you a name. I'll give you a name. Sawback. Uh, da, 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 da. What's something we can call the sawback? Hmm. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Super bong because he flies really high. That is a terrible joke, but I regret nothing. So now let's do some house cleaning. Eight minutes in, yay, we're into a fight. Moving out. Wait, what have we got here? Have we got something? Warrior Meridian. Oh, that's really easy. Moving out. Okay, I'm not gonna do what I did what I did last episode and uh, not position my guys properly for fights. So we're going to do this. Yes, do that. Okay, so. The Nazim will spawn really close. You will spawn there. You will spawn there. You will spawn there. Whoa, you. Do, do, do. I'm going to sit on the rapier. Yes, yes, yes. So let me see. With the Warrior Meridian, this shouldn't be too difficult. Away we go. Everything's in combat. Black lightning is awesome. Yep, and there's the big missiles. Whoa, yeah, that, yep, one shot. There goes the Meridian. That's overkill, guys. What's this? The Warrior. Now, the Warrior is a godly class design. Yep, there's that EMP. Good work. And there's that smoke gun. The sawback is awesome to watch as it works because it just flies really fast. So if I go sit on the sawback right here. It's a motoring long at 140 meters per second, so there is no whoa, okay, it actually got hit. How? What? What the hell? That is not possible. What happened? 
No, 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 uh uh, wrong, no. What happened there? That is no. No! No! That what? No, I'm sorry, there's no way the warrior managed to hit hit that thing. There is absolutely no way. I refuse. That was a bug. Nick, fix your game. What? Oh no, that goes all my money. That is nonsense. I don't... Just what? There's no way. Nuh-uh. Sorry. Sorry. No. I refuse to believe that. That is... rubbish. That is nonsense. This thing is gonna take a very long time to kill now. Oh dear. Well, I was, uh... That's what I get for being cocky, I suppose. The game was just like, you know what, I'm going to break just to just to annoy you. Seriously, there is absolutely no way in hell the warrior managed to hit that. No way in hell. And there's no way one of these little bombs managed to hit it either, because the thing's flying above them. It's got it's 200 meters above them. So, I don't know what happened there. I wasn't looking in the right direction. It was something stupid was. And hopefully this thing will just be AI deaded by the... by the bombs. Maybe this thing will... Whoa, that was... Well, it's night time. That's nice. Come on, let's sink. Yes, it's sinking! Yes, we get to go home early and eat dinner. Eat dinner? Oh. Are you sinking? Yep, there you go. Go to hell. I think what might have happened uh, is that a missile might have glitched out and, like, ended up inside the rear of the Soulback, so... Don't know how it does that, really. Why is the map so- I hate this. The map is so dark right now. Okay. Not to worry. Not to worry. Because the Sawback can still fight even without all that nonsense, so... What's that? We got a warrior, Culverin, Culverin. No problems. We'll just keep bombing them from above. Rapier goes here, that goes here. Lifting. Lifting. And you will spawn way over here. And begin. I'm gonna be watching it. the sword saw back this time. Okay, that's one fine. Should be careful about that. Nazem's not getting hit at all. We're in the tropical bit of uh, of the Onyx Watch territory, which is very nice. Okay, Warrior just ate it. I think the Culverin. Yep, it is. Hey, I did. Okay, EMP. Good plan. I keep forgetting that. I don't know, I tend to think of EMP on small missiles as not being very good, but clearly on smaller Onyx watch vessels it can be very good indeed, because that took no time whatsoever. Actually a lot of EMP uh, does a much better job. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. What the freewheeling hell happened? That was not an auspicious entrance, uh, Super Bomb. I can't believe I just called this thing the Super Bomb. That's really silly.
And that missile missed. I'm not pleased by that. Missiles really are not good at the whole tracking thing right now. And is this thing going to despawn before it can hit its darn target? Well, maybe. Maybe it'll hit a different target. Is the Culverin still alive? No, I think the... No, the Culverin's dead. It must have gone AI deaded by accident. And two big ones. Yeah, big missiles make a big difference. Can't wait until we come up with something with a LAM system, because that's... Uh, the Sawback is going to have a field day with that. Whee! Let's go sit on this guy. How are you doing? Doing great. Not the prettiest thing in the world. Although, actually, from this angle, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, an easy way to make something fly very fast is to put it in space where there's less air resistance. That's why I love ion engines for that very reason. Also, they look cool, and that that makes me happy. How's our money? Money's good. Money's very good, in fact. We'll be able to afford another saw back soon. <sighs> and for those of you thinking that this is cheesy, what I'm doing here, just laying into the Onyx Watch with a fast aircraft, like... I know, it kinda is, but... Honestly... Sometimes you just gotta embrace the cheese. Cheese is delicious. Funny, fun fact, uh, the dairy industry is a big deal down here in New Zealand. Lots of cheese, lots of milk, lots of yogurt. Good for you. Wait, are you this morning? You are! Hallelujah! And you are almost completely repaired. Which is fantastic. Why the hell did you blow up? I don't... I don't know. If you have any idea how that could have happened, please let me know, because uh, that's going to be haunting me a little bit. Listening. Moving I'm going to go over here. Uh, how are we doing? You are getting a little close. Uh, actually, you're good. You're good. I'm going to save my game right here. So, Onyx. Onyx. Lovely. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, what have we got here? We got a pioneer and a culverin. Moving out. That's really easy. Let's go over there. We're doing very well. He said, hoping that he doesn't just. I'm going to spawn you way the hell back over here. Ah, there we go. There we go. And we'll go chill out on the rapier. Maximum altitude. Maximum altitude. Wait, excuse you. Eh, there we go. Maximum altitude. There we go. Maximum altitude. Full spawning in. Hallelujah. Begin. There goes the missiles. And boom. That looked painful. Oopsies. AI dead? Nope, not yet. This guy is though. For sure, for sure. Yep, there he goes. Yay, we're killing it. Crushing it. Whee! Whoa, what just happened? The light changed.
Oh dear. We're due any minute now. For yep, here they come. Yeah. Boom. You gotta be at yep, there you go. Hey, I did. Now just rock on it, rock on out on top of the Nazim. And whoop, we won again. Who would have guessed? Listening. Moving out. So we go back up here. How are we doing? You guys are a long way off, that's great. Can we please have the main map? Just always be light so we can see what we're doing. That'd be incredibly cool. Moving out. La la la. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. We might have enough money very soon for another one. Okay, a PAL stave. Can't remember. PAL stave does have anti aircraft guns, but they can't hit us very well. Which is very convenient. We let's go up to that, and the saw back goes way back here. You go very close there. 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 I'm still on the rapier. It's all good. Let's go. Fish in a barrel. Lovely, lovely. Yep. Thankfully, nothing has a LAM system yet, which is very nice. There, see, anti aircraft guns on the Pulse Dave. That looked very painful. What's this guy again? That's the Lance. Whee! Boom. How are we doing? We're doing great. Air power! How's our money? Money's doing fantastic. Oh, looks like that was... Oh, God. Hey, I dead, and looks like a... Let's just pause that for a second. Let's get you out of this universe, because you're lagging the universe. Thank you very much for uh, dying in a timely manner. That's very kind of you. And oops, wrong button. Uh, F11. That's the one. That's the pause button. Pause on pause. I do like small bombs. There's just something. It's very satisfying to watch. It's like watching a a goat poop. It's just like <laughs> lots of little pellets. The new missiles are really amazing. Apart from the, they're not as. Apart from the fact that they don't track as well as they used to. Oh god! Look at that block confetti. We go get a bird's eye view. We are very high up. We are. 500 meters straight up in the sky. That is a long way up, people. We should probably be careful about uh, the whole. For oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Screenshot right here. That's gorgeous. I love this part of nature. It's a great place to holiday. Is that just one seagull? Oh no, there's more seagulls. Not to worry, I was worried that they'd be lost. Freaking seagulls, man, they are very persistent. They must be alien seagulls. Oh god. Yep, you are. Yep, AI dead. Okay, so I keep forgetting that, uh, I keep underestimating how good EMP can be, but, uh, 
to fairness to me, I keep uh, testing against godly class on Watch Designs, in which it isn't as a fantastic... Oh god, it's freaking out. Please stop. Okay. We are doing very well, people. We will save the game, just in case. And then we will do this. Let's... Moving out. Do 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 What's we got? Warrior and a bastion. This is gonna be incredibly easy. Don't worry people, it will get a lot harder. It will definitely get harder. That random cauldron in Angla that spawned was uh quite the surprise, I have to say. We and that's uh again. Oh, for crying out! Will you please, everyone, spawn in, please? Oh, that looked painful. And yep, AI dead immediately. And all your sails are gone, and all your dignity is gone, and... Wow, and you're trying to aim for the one thing you are guaranteed never to be able to hit. Although, mate, you do. I didn't stick a naval AI on you, do oh, okay. Yeah, the Soulback is not doing well over land. Nope. No, nope, it's doing fine again. Ah, quick! Get back to the action. This action, right here. Why are you running away? Get back over here. Pretty sure there's a land AI on the Soulback rather than a naval AI. I might be misremembering that, and if that's the case, I need to fix it. back is a long way away, but getting closer. Also, those missiles are getting closer. We... It's nice to kill things fast for a change. My problem is just that when I build things, I build, build primarily for survivability, rather than dishing out the ducker. Which is why the, these, uh, with the exception of the two craft like currently working right now. These are both uh, glass cannon type builds and they honestly are the way to go in this game for the most part. Just if they can't hit you at all you don't need to armor them and if you don't need armor you can spend more on guns and missiles and bombs and stuff like that. The warrior keeps rolling over because I think yeah it needs PIDs in order to stay Upright in the water. That's a beautiful sky. Beautiful sky, beautiful everything. Whoop, let's go see what these guys do. Boom, and boom. It's actually quite a. Ooh, wow, that must have been. Yep, yeah, I did. It's a vicious combo, those big. using small and large missiles. Because. The large missiles come every so often, and they just breeze straight through lamb systems and rip open big holes. And then small missiles just kind of, they slip in through small gaps and then rip up the inside, so. Right, build a bob, you get over here. I believe you are pretty darn fast. While you're doing that, we'll Moving out. just get over here. And we will clear... what shall we do? Half an hour and we'll just clear this wee tile here. Moving out. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. 
Just proctor, buttress, and a mule. That's very easy. Very easy. I would feel bad, but uh, you know what? My craft sometimes blow themselves up with uh, no explanation, so... I don't feel too bad about cheesing this, because uh, I'm my own worst enemy. So... Saw back. Goes use the story. Way back. Over here. Over here. Over here. And what have we got? We got the Proctor Mule Buttress. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's do it again. Much fighting in this episode. All in combat, awesome. Yeah. Oh, Proctor. Oh, the Proctor's fun. Oh, the Proctor's dead. No, you're not dead, but you're going to be very soon. Yeah, the Proctor is... A fun craft, I do not understand why it's a godly class design, because really, its main weapon is a cram cannon, so already, like, as much as I love crams, I will freely admit they are not very good as of now. They're just, there's too many ways to counter them, they're not cost efficient, it's just, it's a horror show. Was that a UFO that just disappeared there? I don't even know. Whoa, that was, that was over so fast. Just, most small craft in this game are not scary, like, the only reason I'm just clearing the board so well with these reasonably small craft is because, well, it's, it's because I, they're specialized, they, I know exactly what I'm up against with the Onyx Watch and I've just made craft to exploit it, so it's not that they're incredibly good designs, they're just, they're hard counters to what we're facing right now, like, right there, for instance. And I am going to save the game because we're lagging a little bit. And if we crash, I want life to restore, to carry on as normal. And so you are going to come over there and we're going to lure out the defenders of that tile. Thank goodness the Onyx Watch is slow. I tried playing a Great Talon campaign on easy uh, the other day, just in my own time. That's pretty hard. Like, even when your budget is almost zero at the start of a game, just uh, the Great Talons can actually be, even their easy designs can be a problem. Simply because they've got uh, hulking big airships that have like a lot of APS and uh, LAM systems on them and that kind of thing. So my usual strategy of just making uh, cheap RTG powered missile craft did not work so well. So back to the drawing board there. So, how fast are you? We're gonna park you up. over here. Lifting. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna build another moneymaker. Where's the. F ah, there's the land. There's the land. Do 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 do. Load vehicle. We're gonna load in our favorite thing. Favorite thing. In its very own folder now. It's also cheaper than it used to be, and I can't remember why that is. Okay, we will... You repairing? Yes, you are. And your force name, RTG Gathering Platform. No, actually, fleet name, fleet name, fleet name. Fleet name, so... So... Ireland... Holiday. I've forgotten what my friggin' naming... Ireland, Ireland Holiday Spot. There we go. What did I name this one? Slightly North Enterprises. <laughs> Oh, oh, sometimes I'm funny. Okay, let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Lifting. Okay. Lifting. Weapons only. Whoa, I have a lot of money all of a sudden. You know what that means? I'm gonna pull you all the way back over here. And do we have time? Yes, we do. Come and get me. You're just gonna reinforce there, aren't you? 
We're going to spawn in another sawback, so we can really kill things fast. Doo -doo -doo. Moving out. Sawback. Do 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 do. Super long. Lifting. Ah, I should. Mm. I forgot about this. Air Force One. I completely forgot what I named these guys. It's been so long. Air Force One Point Five. Err. Do 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 do. The nameless crew. There we go. That's a complete lie because they all have names. Uh, I should. I don't know what I should do now. No, I know exactly what I should do. I should keep going. Push forth onto the conquest of the entire world. It's getting hot in this room. I, I is sent. I cook myself when I shut the doors and windows in here so I don't disturb my neighbors. I hope they appreciate it. Except I don't even know if they really exist. So, super, so instead of Super Bong, what should we call this guy? Flying Eye is hot air death. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Listening. Okay, and nameless crew. Moving out. You get back over there. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, my dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dang it. So I need to retro- I need to retrofit this guy. I need to retrofit him to a, ver to a different version of that, otherwise they're gonna be flat the same. I'm so glad I spotted that, jeez. Sawback B, so let's do that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, so re oh dear, okay, he reinforced that tile, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much, thankfully we can do Moving out. this thing. Oh, darn it. We'll just do this. This is gonna be a big. F what are we up against? Chancellor, big fat thing, and a Grendel. Okay. So first things first. Hot air death goes over there. Right. Super bong, hot air death. And we're gonna jump on you just in case you decide to blow yourself up, which would be very uncool of you. So I suggest you. Whoa, the water over here is pretty. Okay. K K K K K K K K. Oil refinery has no fuel tanks to fill. What fuel tanks? Okay. That, and we're all in. You are not blowing yourself up. That's very not. Whoa, that's weird. Games and alpha. Alpha is alpha. Are you gonna collide with each other? Because I will be. Oh, that looks cool. Even with missile traces set down to minimum, it looks really cool. Oh god, oh god, oh no. We. Oh god, the lag. Uh, please don't crash. Thank you, thank you. I need a hotter box. That looks like it hurt. Now we're starting to get into, I think, is the, is the Grendel godly? I don't think it is. I think the Grendel is uh, expert. Whoa, that's a good shot. Oh, the, I'm going to have trouble picking the thumbnail for this one. What the hell? I think, what are these? Those are missile interceptors. Well, too bad you're launching them, funny. Damn, man, what's your deal with the Grendel? How are we doing? Let's go chill out on you for a second. Woo! Wait, let's do that again. Whee! Away you go. And it's blue, and I love the color blue. Favorite color is green, but blue is a very close second. Actually, what I'm saying, my favorite color is black. Except that's technically not a color. Or so people tell me. We Okay, four large missiles. That's that's gotta hurt. 
It's got a smart of it. Oh, that's a lot of block confetti. How's our money? Money is fantastic. Woohoo! How much are you worth? You are worth considerably less than you used to be. You AI dead? Yep, it is. Are you AI dead? Nope. Yep, and you are disintegrating? Let us let disintegrate slightly, please. And here's one. Oh, there's the EMP charge. It's gonna be gone now. Oh, it, it left. Oh, that's sad. I totally thought of things to talk about uh, before I started recording, and I've completely forgotten what they were. I think it was along the lines of, like, sorry there's no cram on with this episode. I could spawn it in if I have the money for it, but I'd rather get, like, a full trio of sawbacks first, just to cover my butt. I have a super bomber flight. Super bomber fight? Let's speed you up. Let's watch you disintegrate. From beneath! I was about to say that boring, but then it started doing it. Look at that. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. It's like watching a time lapse of, uh, I don't know, either something growing or something rotting. Not rotting. Well, uh, watching something rot in a time lapse can be kind of cool, but also it's a little bit gross, so. I don't know what. Oh, my goodness. And the ejectors all went at once. And thus, all life on the bottom of the ocean, in that particular spot, went extinct. Okay. Oh boy, what's here now? Jormungand, Proctor, and Culver. Yes, we've got to kill a Jormungand. Jormungands are one of my favorite things to kill slash text against. They're just, they're just fun. They're just fun because they don't have a bloody lamb system on them, so they're actually yeah. fun to fight. And they're covered in guns, so, uh... And they have shields. And just, I don't know. I like the Jormungand. It's a very onyx watchy kind of ship. Also, when you pop up the big gun on its back, it is great fun. Whee! Let's check. Can we do? 37k. Yes, we can. Okay, first things first. Super bomb. You go over there. Hot air death. You go over there. Dagger, you go over here. Oh, I remember. I remember the original name of this of this air force. It was the pointy things. Right. My bad. I completely forgot. It was the name. And there's the rapier. You go here. I will go sit on the rapier because you are going to get shot at, my friend. So over here. Dun 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 dun. Spawn you way back over here. And Proctor, Yomgan, Culver. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, laggy, 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 lag. Why do you two have to rub up against each other? In such scandalous fashion. Yeah, see, Jormungand uh, has how many? It has two anti-aircraft turrets, which is, well, okay, really, 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 guys? That was, like, used the, not even the largest craft there, I guess, the Jormungand went, uh, below the waves for a second of the radar guided missile decided, you know what, that Culverin deserves to die. Poor guy. Poor Culverin. Damn, poor Proctor. How are you still alive? It must be the heavy armor. Okay. As soon as I say that, like, 
Seriously, guys? Really? I thought radar guided missiles were meant to go for the big things, but as of right now, like, they, the, the missiles hate the Proctor. Who knew? You've got to be AI dead. Yep, you are. EMP doesn't do a heck of a lot to the Jormungand, at least from this angle, because of that wooden deck. Tends to get tickled a lot by uh, those small bombs. Uh, those... okay. Don't crash. That looks like it hurt a lot, though. See, it's very spongy. Yeah. Look at this, the Ormengarde is mostly made of wood, so trying to AI dead it just with EMP is not going to work very well. This is what I'm, this is the kind of craft I'm thinking of when I say, like, EMP doesn't work as well as people think it does. It certainly does turn off the local weapon controllers and, like, blind the craft by destroying detection systems. Full AI dead? No, not going to happen. Not just with EMP. The fact it's AI mainframes are in heavy armor compartments, I think, yeah, yeah they are. It doesn't help with that. So yeah, you try playing on godly difficulty with just using EMP, you are going to have a horrible, horrible time. That's why I don't do it. Like, I guess you could uh, AI dead, oh, you can see it, if like... You, EMP can travel through wood, it just, uh, it just doesn't get very far. How are we doing? We're doing great. Okay, we've got big missiles incoming. Not yet. The finances are looking good. Really good. Really, guys? I really hate that, the way that missiles can, well, miss, when they have absolutely no reason to. The, those missiles overshot, and it's because of the APN guidance on them. They should not do that. They really should not do that. That's like, what, you wanna, mm. I'm ranting now, I'm whining. What the hell? Nope, nope, what? What happened to you? You did not collide. Oh no. Really? Nope, 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 no, 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 no. What the hell? Did you. What happened to you? Well, the, someone asked last time. Oh my god, your AI did. Okay, I can't retreat to uh, that. Oh no, he is so screwed. He is very, very dead. Uh oh. 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 What the hell happened? Oh, really? What? What were you doing? Okay, hopefully he doesn't notice you. Hopefully you just sit here and you can. Uh oh. Seriously, what happened there? It wasn't a collision, otherwise two of them would have died. Actually, wait. Two of them did die. What happened to the other one? What? No. What? Well, okay. That's annoying. I thought these guys couldn't collide at all. Did I have four of them? No, I just had three of them. ABC. So it wasn't a collision. Like, one of them did get hit by something. That's annoying. Seriously! What is wrong with you? Yes, there's a giant hole in the middle of it, but that's no excuse. Aim for a... Drava. Dra I know you hate it when people tell you this. Fix your missiles. Really. we are probably working on that right now, but... Jeez. Are you AI dead yet? Can I go home? I need coffee. And other things. Any day now. How are you doing? Doing okay? 
doing okay. Could be doing worse. Just first, uh, my like much vaunted like spacecraft high orbiting thing that uh, blows itself up, and then I don't even know what happened. Like these things hardly ever manage to drop bombs on each other, but I guess it happened then. Well, I saw the EMP, so so it definitely happened then. Okay, you, sir. Dude. No, you don't. You, get out of here. Well, you gotta be- I should remove the- Maybe I should remove the magnets off there. The magnets are to ensure a hit, because if these bombs ditch in the ocean, with magnets on- Well, they do that. They come straight back up and hit things from underneath, which is very useful, and- Ah, you'll notice this thing isn't, uh, being AI deaded. Its AI is quite secure, it's quite snug. Okay, that's a hit, that's a hit. That was a miss. What the hell, man? What the hell? That's really uncool. And before anybody says, like, eh, it must be something you're doing wrong, it probably isn't, because 90% of the time those missiles work fine. That one ten percent it just overshoots for seemingly no reason. So I don't know, I'm just gonna sit here. Can you hurry up please? Any minute. Oops, no, didn't mean to do that. The yellow and blue. Like, I don't know. What's yellow and blue? Actually, what is yellow and blue? Um, yellow and blue. I guess some parrots are yellow and blue? I don't know. Well, the nice one, lads. You fired that, but they're all gonna... No, that missed them. Okay. Three out of four. Why'd that one miss? No one knows. It didn't correct its course well enough. Okay. Oh, oh. And listening. And by gum, we need to capture this guy. Okay, what the? Moving out. Oh, that's a spawned a force. Huskar, Meridian, Mule. Oh my god. Oh, Huskars are lag fests. This is going to be fun. Okay, so moving out. Moving what out. We're going to do. We're going to jump on the rapier, and we're going to capture that furnace. And hopefully we're not going to get killed by our own bombs. Uh, wish me luck. In fact, I'm going to save the game right here again. Save, save, save. And I think we have just enough time, yes we do, to capture this thing. Because it should be very quick. Moving out. Okay. Boop. Maybe I should start on the saw back. Just in case, I'm gonna spawn you way over here, you way over here, you way over here, you go way over here. Listening. You go way over here. The furnace shouldn't be able to hit us Listening. at all, but uh, wish me luck. Oh god, nope, okay. Well, I fell off a lot sooner than I intended. Hey yo, Control. hey yo. Moving out. You go hang out over there for a bit. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Well, right. Yay. So remember when I keep saying that I don't capture things and I hate doing it? I can't even follow my own rules. Whoa, what's with your detection system? Don't shoot at me now. Yes! Yes! Right where we need to be. Okay. I'm gonna turn the UI on. Lovely, soothing sound of the minigun. Soothing sound. They really need to put Semtex charges or something in this game. They really do. We 
good. Doing good. Yes. 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 Ah. The lag is fantastic. I love it. Sweet. Flip me. Moving out. Okay. Flip me. Bonus. You get retrofitted into. I have so much money now. Yes, Queen. And wait, wait what? Okay, there we go. That worked. We'll rename you. Daphonas. Daphonas. What do we got coming to kill us? We got. We're gonna be shoving you moving out here. And we are in the money, people, so. Yeah. Next time, what I'm planning to do, I'm going to make one more soul back, and then I'm going to make a trio of the cram bombers that I had before. I actually spent most of this morning retrofitting um, those things uh, precisely so that, well, so that they could appear in this episode. I guess that didn't happen. That's okay. That is fine. That's fair. I'm probably going to split the soul backs into their own uh, little fleet as well. And we'll see what we can do about getting some uh, surface vessels in here, because we can't all just be aircraft. That's a wee bit boring, even though I'm sorely tempted to do that, because the new wave system is very irritating for ships. And there's... Oh, there's rough weather up here, lads. So, let's go... Let's just uh, look at the... See, this is what I'm talking about. These waves are actually massive. And they do really screw with the movements and also the detection of your ships. Because cameras and radar can't see through water, which includes these waves. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time in From the Depths, the Onyx Watch campaign. Oh, it's snowing. That's lovely. It's snowing just on the camera and nowhere else. Yeah, what? It's literally just around the camera and nowhere else. It is snowing. That's weird. Anyway, farewell.